Tonight, cowardly criminal act, outrage after three historic Hyde Park statues are vandalised in an Australia Day protest. Terrifying attack as Central Coast father charged with raping a 12-year-old while dressed in a camouflage suit. Harvey hits hard, the most powerful hurricane in a decade smashes Texas. A new low, the organised crime groups targeting children's play centres. Caught on camera, the moment armed robbers threaten a shopkeeper with a crowbar. And gearing up for a big fight, counting down to the boxing night of the year. This is 7 News with Anne Sanders. Good evening. The angry debate over Australia Day has hit a new low, sparking outrage from the Prime Minister down. Statues of Captain Cook, Governor Macquarie and Queen Victoria have been attacked around Hyde Park with slogans about genocide and changing the date. Police have a suspect with a vandal caught on camera. Discovered at first light around Hyde Park, history had copped a vandal spray. In Las Vegas, Mike Amore, 7 News. Let's get a check of the weekend weather now. Angie, what a glorious winter's day. And after a gusty week, what a treat today has been. Right now it is 16 degrees in the city and the apparent temperature isn't far off that mark at 14. That is thanks to much lighter winds down to about 9 kilometres per hour. Now the trade-off was a colder morning. The minimum at Blacktown here was a crisp 5 degrees, but that early fog soon burnt off, revealing stunning blue skies for the rest of the day. Now hopefully you made the most of it because because a change is on the way here. It is set to bring afternoon showers and yes, the winds will be back. Warnings are in place along the coastline tomorrow and I will have the latest on that system shortly, Anne. Thank you, Angie. See you then. Two police officers have kept working despite being injured in a car crash. Next, how their patrol car was hit while parked on the side of a Sydney highway. Panic at Buckingham Palace, a terror probe launched after an armed man is arrested. Plus, soldiers open fire on a man attacking their comrades in Brussels. And the ultimate gift, a father's priceless sacrifice to save his son. <laughs> Two police officers have been treated for minor injuries after their car was struck by a van in Sydney Southwest overnight. Freya Cole, 7 News. A late night cook up has left a woman in hospital next to the fire emergency, which forced the evacuation of a Campsie unit block. Plus, would you trust a driverless truck? The bold plan to reduce pollution in the UK. Veterans honour their Kokoda made 75 years on. And it's been a stunning Saturday, but expect gusty conditions to pick up again tomorrow. Details next. A woman has been injured in a fire in a Campsie unit. The fire started in the kitchen of a second floor unit around 10.45 last night. The building was evacuated and the fire quickly contained. One resident was treated for minor burns and smoke inhalation. They once seemed like a thing of science fiction, now driverless trucks will soon be a reality. They'll be tested on UK roads next year, but safety experts are worried about the impact on other road users. At first glance, they look like three normal trucks. Car enthusiasts are celebrating plans to change the law to allow the world's fastest cars on Sydney streets. Don't miss that story soon on 7 News. But this is one driver who probably should have slowed down. First back to Jim Wilson at Sharp Park with Sport and Jim Laurie Daly has received some timely support. Yes, and coming up, Ricky Stewart lets rip at Blues Power Brokers over Daly's axing. Also, highlights of the Storm and the Bunnies. Plus, the Titans host the Bulldogs just days after sacking their coach, Neil Henry. And Aussie Daria Gavrilova's stunning form continues ahead of the US Open. That's next. Welcome back, everyone, to Shark Park, where Cronulla must beat the Roosters to return to the top four tonight. The Storm crossed within two minutes against Souths. It's Suli Vunavalu's 20th try of the year. And, Anne, that brings us to an end of a very big Saturday. It sure Storm. is. Thank you very much, Jim. Talk to you soon. The world's fastest and most exclusive supercars could soon be allowed on Sydney streets. Proposed changes to the law would allow wealthy collectors to import new left-hand drive vehicles worth millions. Tonight's 7 News headlines, the Prime Minister has slammed the vandals who defaced colonial statues in Hyde Park. 
A father of three is in custody, accused of sexually assaulting a 12-year-old girl on the Central Coast. And Hurricane Harvey has made landfall in Texas, packing winds of more than 200 kilometres an hour. It's always a good idea to check your rear vision mirror and this next driver will be wishing he did. Tops generally in the high teens. In the city, 8 degrees tonight, 18 tomorrow. When that change arrives, we should only see about a millimetre or two. Looking ahead, fine weather returning for Monday and Tuesday. A couple of light showers redeveloping about midweek. They will be very light, so expect plenty of sunny breaks during the days, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Let's have a look now at what's coming up tomorrow on Sunday night. A Sunday night exclusive after Little Big Shots. And that's 7 News for this Saturday. I'm Ann Sanders. Thanks for your company. Enjoy the rest of the weekend and have a great night. Bye for now.